So Slice is a really powerful feature of Cricut Design Space that can do so many things, but it's also a little confusing if you've never used it before or don't feel like you've mastered it. So I wanted to share my best Slice tips and tricks with you so that you can use Slice like a pro too. Uh, also, sometimes Slice doesn't work, like it might be grayed out or it just, you know, you click the button and nothing happens. So I'm going to solve that problem for you as well. So let's hop on over to Cricut Design Space. And we'll take a look at how to slice. We're going to start at the very beginning so you even know what slice is. All right. So here we are in Cricut Design Space. I've got, I don't quite have a blank canvas. I've got some stuff up here, but we're going to just talk about slice. So let's do a very simple slice. I'm going to go over to shapes and I'm going to choose a circle. So here's our circle. Then I'm going to duplicate it by clicking the duplicate icon right here. Now I can take these two shapes and just these two shapes and um, they're overlapped. Okay. That's important because we want to slice something out of something else. So I can select both of these shapes, just two, just two layers. And then I come down here to slice right here and I click it. And that gives me new layers, which appear right here as slice results. And if I pull these apart, these new layers I got, you will see it has indeed sliced it. There we go. And now instead of one, well, well there, I'm sorry, instead of two, we now have four, right? So here's part of that circle. Here's the other part. It's been sliced out. Here's that second circle and here's the other part of it. It's been sliced out and it sliced out where it overlapped. So slice is so useful because we can use it to remove parts of something that we don't want. We can use it to create a brand new shape or we can use it to take something that's way too big for us to cut or print and make it so that we can fit it onto our crickets or our printers. Okay. Uh, so this is how this is. It's very easy. Now, if you are trying to slice and it's not working, let's bring up some new shapes here. Let's get some hearts and put them down here and duplicate them. Okay, there we go. Now, right now, if I select these two layers, I want you to see that slice is available. It's, it's, it's not grayed out. Grayed out means um, like what you see here with flatten right now. See, it's like a kind of a light gray color. We call that grayed out, um, but it's not, it's black and I can select it right now. But if I were to say select everything on my canvas and I'm just going to hold down, use my keyboard shortcut to do that. I want you to notice that slice is not available anymore. <laughs> it is now grayed out. And if I click it, I can sit here and click it all day and nothing will happen. It's not broken. It's not messed up. This is how it works. So you can only use two layers when you want to slice. So if I click somewhere else on my canvas and select just those two layers by dragging a bounding box around them, or by coming over here to the layers panel and holding down my shift key while I select both layers, I can get just two layers and slice is available for me to use and it works. And there we go. There's our four pieces. All right, so it's amazing. So let me give you a little tip that I think is so useful. So many of you ask me, how do I make this, do this print? Let's, let's talk about, let's say print and cut or sublimation. Many of you wanna do a print that is too big for your Cricut, okay? So we're gonna come down here and then we're gonna look at this super cute little gnome, uh, it's, a, it's a doormat, nor, do, it's a doormat. It's a preview of tomorrow's. Uh, video, in fact. So this doormat right now is 12 inches wide. It's actually bigger than this, but I made it 12 for you. Uh, this is 12 inches wide by eight inches high. Will this print on our Cricut? Will this cut in any way? No, it's too big for our Cricut, but we can still use this. We can still use our Cricut to create this larger image. So all you do is you come over to shapes and you click on a free shape. We're gonna use a square, specifically this square with the uh, corners that are sharp, okay? Not this one with the corners that are kind of curved. That's a bad one <laughs> for this project, this one right here. So we get a square. Now we need to make the square the maximum size that we can cut on our Cricut or we can print 
to a print thin cut. So the maximum size currently when I'm recording this video, and I say that because you know you might be watch this in a year and maybe it's changed. Let's hope it's changed. So the current, the maximum size is 6.75 inches wide. And so I put that, that in, but it is actually longer. It's nine and a quarter inches long. So to get that shape, we unclick the lock box, the lock icon right here. And then I can type in 9.25. So this is the maximum that we can currently print in Cricut Design Space. So we just put this over our doormat, let me just move it a little bit so we can see everything. Uh, roughly, you know, halfway, that's about halfway, right? And we're going to select both layers. So this, this rectangle layer that we now have and this doormat, this, uh, our cute little gnome. And notice that slice is highlighted. That means we have just our two layers. There's our square and somewhere down here is our doormat. And then I'm going to click slice. Okay, and that gives us extra layers. Again, we want to delete those extra layers. Sometimes this is confusing. You're like, well, this doesn't look right. <laughs> so we get those extra slices. So we need to remove them. So we can select them by clicking on them or clicking in the layers panel. And then we can just come up here to, to delete and select this one. You can always see like a preview right here. And then you click delete. And now we have two layers that will now print. And tomorrow in our, our um, tutorial about how to sublimate a larger than printer project, I'm gonna show you how to match these up. We're actually gonna go a lot bigger than this. Uh, but this is how you can do this. And this is also how you do things like this project, right? So Slice is amazing and awesome. Now, before I stop talking about Slice, it's also a good time for us to talk about the combined menu because there's one feature in there that is like Slice. So let's go back to Design Space and let's scroll back up here to our hearts and circles. Let's get out a new shape. Let's do a star this time. <laughs> All right, here's a star. Let's duplicate it. So we can, of course, select these two. And I'm going to come in here a little closer so you can see what I'm doing. It's always nice to see. All right, so we can just slice these two. Let's say we wanted to make, you know, some little offset, I don't know. Who knows what we wanna do? That's the fun of it. We get to do all sorts of crazy things. Um, and slice is available, but the combine menu actually has a feature that's similar to slice. If you click on combine and choose subtract, it's a sort of a shortcut. So if all you wanna do with slice is remove a piece, a subtract is actually faster than slice. So let's say I want to remove, let's, let's uh, make these look a little bit more. Let's say I just want a partial star here, like something like this, right? I just want this shape here for whatever reason, I don't know. Um, and I go to combine and I choose subtract. Actually, let's do slice first so you can compare. And I'm gonna duplicate these in fact, so you can see it both ways. All right, so first let's do slice. And so you can see what happens. So we slice it out, let's pull it apart, right? There it is, there's all four layers. Now let's do subtract. So we go to combine and we choose subtract. See, faster. <laughs> so if you, all you're trying to do with slice is remove something and you don't need the other part, just use subtract. It's a lot faster. The other cool thing about the combine menu is that we can edit it. So. Let's zoom in on this because I can see it doesn't look so hot. It's kind of kind of funky down. Uh, hang on a second, let me move over here. Like here, there's some weird weird shapes. It's, it's not it's not very pretty, right? But with subtract, we can actually go in to our star. See, if you click on it over here, it retained the original layers, and then I can move just this layer. I can move it in a little bit. And now it looks a lot cleaner. So subtract definitely has some huge advantages over slice if all you wanna do is remove something. And then if you are happy, you can just leave it like that. It'll cut out just like this. Or if you wanna like kind of like set it in place and have it treat it like one layer so that you don't get a whole bunch of layers over here, you can go back to the combined menu and you can do merge layers. And now it's just a regular old layer. Isn't that awesome? 
<laughs> so slice is super cool. And once you know how to do it, it opens up worlds for you. You can do all of the things that you want to do. You can modify images. You can make new shapes. You can make big projects like this. You can do everything that you want. If you have more questions about Slice, I'm more than happy to help you out. So is our whole community. So come on over to jennifermaker.com slash Cricut Crafters and let us know what you're trying to do and we would be happy to help you out.